Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that journaling is the number one tool that I use to work through my mental health challenges. And I've put out a video called Journaling for Mental Health. And now I would like to make a series of shorter videos that focus on individual emotions so that you can learn how to journal from your emotions. So this is how you want to journal from the emotion of fear. So let's get started. My name is Carol and I'm a life coach from carolcares.com who helps all teens and young adults work through their mental health challenges. If you are thinking of self-harming right now, please hit the video link above at any time during this video. So the first thing that you need to decide when you start to journal is how do you want to do it? You can either type it out or write it out. When I first started to journal, I chose to write. I used some kind of a notepad, something similar to this, or sometimes I would even have an actual journal. But what happened was over time, I had too many of these lying around and I didn't know where to put them because I wanted to keep them private. So privacy is very important when you start journaling. You need to make sure that you keep your journal in a safe place if you fear that someone may read it. I'm going to teach you a new way of journaling today that involves writing from your emotions. If someone were to get nosy and decide that they wanted to read about what you're writing, they will be in for a hell of a shock because you will be writing from your gut, your emotions. You'll be writing from what you're feeling. And it's going to be something that you don't want anyone to see. And I stress no one, because if someone picks up your writing, they're gonna misinterpret what you're saying. And your writing is not meant for them. So the message that I wanna make clear to you is make sure that your journaling is private and away from nosy people. I personally love to write in large notepads, but as time went on, like I said, I couldn't write fast enough and there just wasn't enough paper for me to get out what I needed to. So I ended up having all these notebooks lying around everywhere and I started to really worry about my privacy. So I switched to my laptop and wow, what a difference it made for me. I didn't have to worry about privacy anymore. I didn't have to worry about having enough paper and I started to save all my information on a Google Doc and I just kept adding on every day. And the beauty of having my writing in one place is that I can go back to it and search for something that I wrote a long time ago. And I've had to do that in my therapy. So it's really up to you how you wanna do it. The most important thing is that you start to journal. Now let's focus on the writing itself. So this is how you want to journal from the emotion of fear. For this next part, I've taken a clip from a previous video where I talked about journaling from this emotion. Fear comes from your mind. So what message is it telling you? It might come off in the form of a command or an order, like, don't go there, that's dangerous. Or maybe, I can't do this, or something bad is going to happen if I try this. Maybe it might start with, I'm scared because. So what is it that you're telling yourself? Why can't you do something? Why are you scared to do something? What is that message? This exact message will be your writing prompt or your first sentence that you're going to start your journaling. Now, if you are having difficulties deciding what the message is, you can go to my website, carolcares.com, and you can subscribe to it. And I will send you seven pages of writing prompts for free on different topics and emotions that look like this. So let's take a look here. I will scroll through the topics. And under each topic, I've given you many writing prompts. Remember, a writing prompt is the first sentence you can have in order to begin your journaling. And at the right, I also give you a sample paragraph to show you how to write from that writing prompt or from the emotion that you're feeling. So let me show you how I would write in my journal. So let's go to the writing prompts for fear. Now let's say the message that you hear is one of these. I'm going to select the writing prompt or the first sentence. I'm so scared too. And I'm going to begin my journaling with this. And I'll just type out or write, if you like, all the thoughts that are running through my head. And this is what I'm going to write. I'm so scared to do this video. No one will watch it. No one will care what I have to say. I can't do it. I just can't. It will sound so stupid. I know it will. I can't do it. I just can't. It will flop. No one will care. It'll sound dumb. I can't do it. I'm too scared to do it. I can't do it. What's the use? No one will care. Why bother? No one will even care. There is no point in even trying. 
Now notice how I began expressing emotions of fear at the beginning of this paragraph, but near the end, my thoughts switched to thoughts of hopelessness. Like, no one will care. What's the use? Why bother? There's no point in even trying. Now remember, I told you earlier on that once I wrote for my fear messages, I discovered that I was actually depressed. I mean, I had these feelings of hopelessness that were being covered up by my fear. And that's probably going to happen for you. What's happening is that you are getting at the root cause of your fear. And if you discover that there's actually another emotion or two underneath that fear, you may have to write from that or watch another video on this emotion that's hidden under the fear. And when you can finally get to the bottom for the reason of your fears, that's when you will be able to release this fear and other emotions that are underneath it. And that's how you can start to see some things really shift in your life. And you will do this every time your fear comes up for different situations in your life. The easiest thing about journaling is that you just write what you feel. Now, let me tell you the hardest thing about journaling. And this is the part that everyone will struggle with. And I guarantee you that you will too, because I did it for a while until I wanted some real change in my life. The hardest part about journaling is this. You will not want to do it. You will make up every excuse in the book for why you just don't want to do it or you can't do it. Believe me, I did. You will find a way to put it off every single time. But now I know I can't live without my journaling. I just can't. And you too will get there once you try it and you start to see the awesome benefits that it has to offer. I wish you the best of luck with your journaling and I guarantee you that it will help you to release so many of your emotions and anxieties that you're currently facing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram. And as always, remember to have compassion for yourself for what you're working through and stay safe. Bye for now.